I've always been a fan that Berninas lets me set up the machine for the way I sew because the way I sew and the way you sew are going to be totally different. Things that I like to adjust and override the factory settings, I can do that. And then this machine is customized to me. Every time I turn the machine on, it's set up with my exact settings. So I wanna show you how you can override the default settings of every single stitch in this machine. And you can then pick the favorites, things you're always tweaking, making it a little wider, making it a little shorter, moving the needle position to the side, or sewing it always in a mirror imaged option. So as we take a look at a straight stitch, the default setting of this machine is 2.5 millimeters, which is great. Except I know that this machine allows me to oh so slightly have such small increments for adjustments. And since it does let me do it, I like for my for piecing a 2.35 stitch length. I know that's so small of a change, but I like that it's a little bit smaller. I love it with RFL thread and I can still see the take it out. So not all machines have all these increments. A lot of machines just go from two millimeters to two and a half to three. And I love that Bernita gives me all these smaller increments in between the stitches. So for me, this is my preferred stitch length. You will probably have your preferred stitch length, especially if it's different than the default setting. So how do we save this? Touch the eye for information and then come over here to the floppy disk. And when you touch it, you'll notice that everything turns yellow. That means it's on, but that is where it's saving that stitch setting. So let's do that again. Let's say you always use the zigzag a little wider and um, adjust it for a satin stitch, for example, um, for the thread that you are always using. That will change with a thicker thread, a thinner thread, um, a variegated thread. So you'll have to set it based on what thickness of thread you've chosen. Uh, so let's say that's my beautiful satin stitch I'm always using. Again, I could set it so instead of a zigzag, I always get a satin stitch. Touch the eye, save the setting. So if I was to turn off the machine right now and turn it back on, when I pick a straight stitch, that's the setting. When I pick a zigzag, that's the setting that is comes up as the normal setting, which is nice. I can always go back and make it back to a normal zigzag. Well, normal compared to what? Whatever you're sewing. Another one that I always change is in the quilting menu. I am a fan of taking the blanket stitch, stitch number 1329, and moving the needle position all the way to the far right. That way when I use a open toe foot, I can actually see where I am being guided. I believe I can actually pull up a foot 20, uh, 20 you see there, and you can see what I'm talking about. See how it's actually on the inside of the toe? That's my visual guide when I do blanket stitch applique, and that's why I love to move it over there. So on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and override the default setting, and so that stitch is set up for my way of sewing. Now, let's say you're not wanting that to always be on. You're kind of done with that zigzag being uh, a satin stitch. All you have to do is come in, touch the eye, and unsave it, that's the second box right by it. And now it's back to the machine's default settings and super easy to do. So you don't have to ever remember what they were. It's easy as turning it off or on. There is a place in the settings where you can actually reset the entire machine to its own manufacturer default settings. So if you're just kind of don't know all the things you changed or maybe you're selling your machine or giving it to somebody, you can go in and reset set everything uh, all back to normal.